Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've made for you guys. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a distribution that is quite elegant, actually. The desktop environment is absolutely stunning. It's a little controversial for reasons I'll explain later. But other than that, I've never looked at this in, on, on the channel at all, and it's high time that I did. As beautiful as it is, it is one of the desktop environments that I would use myself if I wasn't a window manager kind of guy. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And so here it is. We are taking a look at Ubuntu DDE or Ubuntu Deepin Desktop Environment Remix 2304. That's right. This is based on the Ubuntu 2304, but it actually has the 23, the brand new Deepin Desktop that was just released. Uh, it is based on, on Ubuntu, as we said, and also Deepin actually is based off of GNOME. They used to be, the Deepin uh, desktop environment uh, distribution used to be based off of uh, Debian Stable, but they switched to Ubuntu and made it a flavor. Now, what makes it so controversial is that it's originated out of China by Hui, Haiwi Linux or something like that. I can't really um, remember or pronounce the name the way it is, but if you look it up, you'll find that it is there. So what are the keynote features about this desktop environment release? Which is what's more important. It's, I mean, Ubuntu is Ubuntu. It's stable. But then this one, um, they're using the, the Lobster Lunar uh, base system. They have a new release of the deep, deep in Desktop Environment, which is the 23rd, as I said. They upgraded versions from the base native applications that are pre installed, including Deep in Music, Deep in Movie, Image Viewer, Boot Maker, the System Maker. Uh, Boot Maker is like their, their, their Belen Etcher, their USB Thumb Maker, uh, Bootable ISP, uh, ISO Maker, uh, System Monitor, Deep in Calculator, Deep in Text editor deep in terminal deep in log viewer and the deep in desktop environment grand search uh, and a few other things but all in all it's a very elegant desktop environment and it is gorgeous and they got new wallpapers and assets from the deep in desktop people remix team and as well as the original deep in desktop people uh there's many more updates coming down the pipe since it's come out uh the requirements are four gigabytes of ram 20 gigabytes of free space and at least two uh gigahertz processor or better so that is a look at the deep in desktop um requirements and what they've changed in this release so let's go ahead and go into the desktop i have this spun up in my virtual manager and i have given it uh, four gigs of ram and four cores of, of processor so here we go let's hit enter and let's get into our environment And so here we are, we are in the actual environment. Now, I just want to take a moment to point out how elegant it looks, just like this, fresh out of the box. I mean, it is beautiful, elegant, slick, clean. The color contrasts are perfect. The iconery is beautiful. I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. It is very elegant. It's kind of got a Mac inspired feel to it, but Hey, you know, it's gnome. What do you want? Uh, so there's that, uh, you can right click on the desktop and you can go to wallpaper and screen saver here. So we can take a look at some of the wallpapers do, 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 do. right here at the bottom. They are. And as you can see, they got a little scroller, which you can scroll through to pick them. Well, the other way is that all of them. That is all of them to that way. Let's go back over here. Here's some more this way. These are wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, look at that. I told you these are stunning. These are some pretty stunning. This is like a Mac inspired one right here. These are very, very, very stunning. There's a lobster one that we came up with. Look at the ah, I mean, these are very, very gorgeous. Here's a sand one. Oh, we've already looked at the penguin one. Oh, check out the fish. The detail on that is beautiful. This lake one. Oh, some elegant wallpapers. You know, you might, one might have to take these wallpapers. Come get them, right? Here's the, here's the Ubuntu ones that they've had in the past. Jammy jellyfish. Yeah, I see. I mean, they, they, they've got, like I said, ooh, this night one is, oh, that's kind of gorgeous too. Wow. Wow. Can't complain. You, you can't go wrong with these guys. You can't go wrong with these guys. And also, if you notice in the switcher here, 
you could do your desktop and then your lock screen as well you can ch or you can apply it to both that's awesome screen saver here's some screen savers uh, i don't think there's any here to pick from so there are none you probably have to download them uh, i'm sure you have to go someplace and find them but either way i, I don't do screen savers on 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 my desktop not like you do with windows but anyhow i mean these are some gorgeous wallpapers let's go let's go over here let's pick this fish i like this fish beautiful so we're good with that oh shoot did i forget to apply uh let's see here where's my fish where's me fish there you got to click the screen the, the 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 thing and it makes it your wallpaper so here you go this is what it looks like like i said elegant absolutely elegant if you click here this is your launcher just so you know then this is your like if you want to minimize the desktop everything to desktop that's what you do this right here is your window switcher right here so you can switch to windows or whatever you want just double click on it you're good to go this is the file manager which is very modern day looking and feeling i mean it is gorgeous it's all dark theme it's all themed so well this right here i think is there a picture viewer maybe oops um yes these are are your photo viewers and and videos you can watch videos through here as well so this is their movie player then this is a, their music player very nicely customized uh no we're gonna exit we're gonna go there and then you have your calendar which the calendar is a very nice calendar i mean I, look at this i mean it's very nice click on it you can add event right here oops let's click on the actual event and here's where you can make your event you can make it work play whatever you want to do so i mean it's it's really nice it's a very nice calendar to keep you organized this right here i believe are your control center settings right here uh, where you can control your mouse your general settings right here for everything power keyboard mouse system information uh, under general settings you have your theme and your startup delay your boot menu if you click on boot menu what happens nothing happens when you click on boot menu so interesting okay so there's that and then for system info this gives you all your system info the 6.2 kernel which uh let's go ahead and do that let's uh open up a top let's open up a terminal which is right here and this is the deepened desktop terminal um let's go ahead and do first let's do a neo fetch and as you can see it's legit we're on the ubuntu 2304 bash 5.2 so it's some older more stable stuff so it's not your rolling release so to speak not that ubuntu really has one but it's not their it's their stable version their lts version deep in 23 with the kwin manager it's using the deep and dark with the gtk2 themes and a wita gtk3 also the icons are the organic glass ones it's the deep in terminal and there you go so that is looking pretty doggone snazzy okay so we've got neofetch ran so now let's go ahead and run htop just to see where we're at and here we are looking at htop uh, as you can see not a lot using about 1.6 uh uh 1.07 gigs of ram uh hardly touching my processor so yeah there's a look at that so that is all we'll look at for that uh, over here is your system tray of course right here um is your notifications and i think location you can turn on or off also uh wired network touch connectivity and then this is your volume indicator right here for your slider and your squash you know menu for your actual uh, system tools and then of course you got your power session button right here so this will tell you how to lock the screen log out or shut down so there's that oh wait was that also start the system monitor you can start it from there hey that is kind of cool um, that's cool. So, oh, one thing I want to show you on this m menu here, as I said, based off of GNOME, if you click this big icon right here, it makes it like the regular GNOME one that you like. So you can actually get the best of both worlds there. I prefer my app launchers to be this style, honestly, because that's one of the things that, um, about GNOME that I don't like, to be honest with you, is I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We could fly through it and it that takes up your entire screen. Uh, I, I don't like that at all. I mean, in, you know, in the window manager, like we use, it's either Rofi D menu, D menus at the top, like a bar, uh, and Rofi is like a little square launcher that pops up in the middle of your screen. It's very nice. This is very nice too. I like it minimal. So that's the one part about like K, K to E that I like is their, their, their launch 
launch, you know, their, their launchers this way. So, I mean, like I said, this is very beautiful. One of the things, too, is their control center. If you take a look at this control center, I mean, it has everything you need here. By the way, if you want to, you know, um, do anything with sound or anything like that, this is it right here. Date and time, general settings. You open up general settings and you look and you see the boot menu and all that good stuff once again. Uh, their control center is one of their claim to fame. It's kind of like their... It's kind of a Windows inspired control center. I think a lot of desktop environments should use something similar to this. A lot of them have that, but this is very sexy. So that is a look at the deep end desktop environment uh, on Ubuntu. It's a high class distribution. It's one of the Ubuntu flavors that I think is the best. Uh, it actually flows nice it looks nice it's beautiful it's good to go uh i mean it's just like i said it's just flawless it's beauty stunning so either way you guys do what you do uh keep doing what you do keep on linux and stay blessed stay safe and above all i will see you in the next one now, before we go, I'd like to go ahead and thank a couple of uh, special people to the channel. That's going to be Frank Dvorak, Zero Linux Official, Darren Clef, English Trainer Online, Tor Hegum, and Mislav Kraleza. Those guys are our channel members, and they are what keep the lights on. So thanks to those guys for helping provide this content for you guys. If you want to be one of those guys, hey, you can either hit that join button down below, or you can go over to buy me a coffee and uh, uh, help the channel out, support the channel out over there. Either way, see you on the next one.